Hey guys, how you doing? This is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs and today we're going to learn how to embroider hats or how to make custom embroider hats. So if you want to see how we do a custom hat, stay tuned and I'll show you real quick. Okay, so this is going to be for um, the print life. I didn't ask for permission so hopefully Cam doesn't get mad that I'm making this hat for him. I don't care if he gets mad, it, he's not going to pay for it, so I'm going to make him a hat and I'm going to send it to him for free. So if he gets mad for that, oh well. So what I did is I went to his channel and I took a picture of his logo and this is what, this is what the logo looks like. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see it from the camera, but what I did, what I did is I digitized his logo. Um, I couldn't do the, normally he has his register mark right here, or trademark, yeah, register mark. And at the bottom it says the print, the print shop, or the t-shirt print shop. I couldn't do those because they're so tiny, they're so small. Once we embroider those, they're not going to be able to come out. Um, if you can see that, this is a positive, and this is going to go on the bottom of the of the brim so but right now we're gonna do the embroidery again this is already been digitized for embroidery so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it to my drive so I can send it over to my uh, embroidery machine so let me do that real quick there you go put it on a zip drive I'm gonna move you around so you can see the embroidery machine and we're gonna start embroidering his logo on uh, on a couple of hats. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you around so you can see how it's done. Okay, so here we are at the embroidery machine, and we're gonna we're gonna load the. Um, we're going to load the job that we just created, which is, I named it the monument for the print life. So that's the one that we're going to load into the machine. I'll just wait for the machine to recognize it. There you go. So now I need to set up the sequence of the of the uh, thread color. So give me a second. Let me go check out the sequence so we don't mess up the hat. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting up the sequence for each and every color. And we're going to start with the green. If you notice on his logo, he's got green at the bottom. And then there's the letters on top of the green with their black where it says limited. And then on top, his logo is normally in white. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm setting up the machine to do that. So we're going to go set up that right real quick. And then white. It's already set up black okay so let me move you around so you can see the hat and what I'm doing right now is what we call a trace we gotta make sure that the job or whatever we're gonna embroider actually fits on the hat so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move you around so you can actually see the hat Okay, so okay, so there's the hat. We're actually doing two hats. This one is like a charcoal gray, and that one's like a sports gray. And uh, we're gonna be embroidering that one first. So, but we gotta trace the job, make sure it fits. So there you go, it fits. I'm just gonna hit start and the machine's gonna start doing it by, by itself. 
Um, once it starts, it's going to be really hard for me. You can't even see me. But once it starts, it, you're not going to be able to hear me. Or you might be able to hear me, but because this machine is a little loud. Not too loud, but it's going to be loud. And uh, I'll just do this in the time lapse where you see the logo come alive. Cool? Okay, so there you go. Okay, so there you have it, all complete. Okay, so there you go, it's all complete. It's a done deal. Two hats that I'm gonna be sending in the morning to Cam. This is a screen print channel, not an embroidery channel. So let's go fix that real quick. I'm gonna take you into my screen room or my uh, screen printing room, and we're gonna screen print this hat. So I'm gonna move you around. I'm gonna take you to the back. Cool. Follow me. Okay. So here we go. I made this little jig today to make the hats. That way the hat will sit right there so I can screen print it. I have never screened it with, uh, I have never used water-based ink. So there's a good possibility that we're going to ruin this hat. And I'm not going to use a tester. I'm just going to go ahead and screen print directly on the hat. The hat is already being embroidered like you saw earlier. I'm just going to screen print the inside of the brim. Again, I made this little jig so it'll hold the hat in place. If I don't move it, so hopefully everything will work out. Aha! Pretty cool. Not bad for the first time. I've always screen print with, uh, what did you call it? Uh, not bad for the first time. I always screen print with plastisol inks. This is the first time I use water-based inks. 
It looks pretty good. I don't know if you ever noticed when Cam is always speaking, you always see the bottom of his hat like that. So now he can advertise while he's making his videos. Cool. Hopefully it won't burn. Let's do the second one. I forgot to plot in my screen. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure everybody over there is talking about he should have flooded his screen. I'm not gonna flood it because well I only need two prints. Done. So we're gonna let them run through the oven or through the dryer. When they come out the other side, they'll be ready to go. Okay, so we have the hats ready to go. Printed on the bottom, embroidered on the top. And I just find out something kind of funny. Hats don't like to be in the conveyor dryer. They don't like the heat. <laughs> it kind of shrunk a little bit. So I'm still going to send it out like that. Let him wear it. See what it thinks. I'll make him another one. I just won't. I won't print the bottom. I guess I instead of running it through the conveyor, I should have dried it with a heat gun. Maybe that would have been better because it kind of the the top or the or the crown kind of. This one looks better, but this one right here, the crown kind of looks like it it shrunk a little bit, almost like if it's a worn uh, hat. It's a brand new hat, it's just kind of didn't like the heat. Well, there you go. If you like it, hit the little thumbs up, subscribe. Again, like, comment, share. And it was a pleasure. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. Thank you for watching.